Gabe Newell himself was kind enough to email me the demo for Fever Dream Softworks' new game, Orbo's Exodus, released a couple it, days ago. Which means I get to unfairly compare it to its predecessor and give you my unsolicited thoughts on it at the same time. Lucky me! The first thing you'll probably notice is that Orbo's bullet launch isn't quite as overpowered as it was in Odyssey, meaning you can't make crazy leaps like this anymore. Or at least I think that's the case, from my limited experience in comparing the two back to back. This is offset by the improved bunt bounce. Not only does this game make performing the bunt bounce far easier, it also makes it more useful by adding the cruise roll, a way for Orbo to move faster without leaving the ground. Overall, I think Exodus's subtle tweaks to Odyssey's movement make Odyssey somewhat hard to go back to and I can't wait for Exodus to fully release with workshop support so I can play Woohoo Island with the cruise roll. Oh my god. In Orbo's Exodus, Orbo ditches his prosthetic arm in favor of hats. Stylish, stylish hats. Like this drill hat that lets him go underground and mess with these screw things. Rest assured, the game retains the first game's level of wackiness. One of the first things the player is able to do in the game is speak to an artist who wishes for Orbo to create a sculpture for him, only for him to then rag on said sculpture before the sculpture comes to life and gives Orbo a dollar. You can also kill this snowman for free money or help the chef guy cook food, which I was too lazy to do. Eventually I realized you can go in this super scary house with its super scary basement where you can get chased by super scary evil monsters. This somehow returns power to the ski lift thing, which you can use to get to this other house and then go out the back door to play pinball with some guy's frozen corpse and then shred it for free money. After that I got killed by an angry rock shooting blue projectiles and ended up in some pink mine doing stupid puzzles and all I ever do is cry in this game. Welcome to Watch Mojo and today we'll be jerking off a horse. After that incredibly tragic event, I decided to visit the cavern of gay radioactive musical salamanders, which I'm pretty sure Alex Jones mentioned at some point on an episode of Infowars. After that, I decided to go pay knockoff Jigsaw a visit. I want to play. Orbo's Exodus. Initially, when I was getting footage for this video, there was a bug that wouldn't let you progress past this point because there are these little red guys that come and chase you and they wouldn't despawn where they were supposed to. However, I'm told that this has since been fixed. So get ready for some abrupt switching to different... Having already done the incredibly easy mind trial off camera, I decided to go straight for body because it was the first one he said in his little monologue. It's pretty easy, although I don't think Orbo handled it particularly well. <laughs> By far the hardest of the three trials was Soul, since there's actually an active threat following you and you can't take your time. Also, there's this part at the end of it where you have to run around the chandelier, but it took me a couple attempts to actually realize that you had to run around the chandelier, 
and you couldn't just jump down and put the orb on the altar. After putting all three stupid orb things on the altar, the big giant statue moved out of the way, which finally let me leave. After escaping evil Jigsaw's traps, Peeb uh, begs you to wishlist the game on Steam in this presumably demo-exclusive room, and then he lets you try out the propeller hat before zooming in on a big giant sign yet again begging you to wishlist the game. I remember really liking Odyssey's movement when I first played the game, but after playing the Exodus demo, Going back to Odyssey, it feels a lot jankier than Exodus, and I can't wait for Exodus to come out so I never have to touch Odyssey again, because someone's inevitably going to port Odyssey to Exodus as a mod or something, and I think that'll be really awesome. Also, in case you never caught on, the title was a joke. I haven't read the book of Exodus, and I don't plan to. <laughs>